Rejoice in hope. Romans chapter 12 verses 12. Advent is a season of hope and longing. Advent is a joyful expectation of an Emmanuel. Advent is a new liturgical season prepares us for Christmas. My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you for this new season of Advent. Advent usually refers to the liturgical period preceding Christmas. Or it is said coming of Christ into the world. Or it is said second coming of Christ. If the word Advent has to be taken literally, it means arrival or coming. Arrival or coming of whom? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, there is a difference between the season of Lent and season of Advent. Lent, we repent. We pray for repentance. We ask God to cleanse our heart, mind and soul to receive his grace of mercy and live a new life with the resurrected Christ. Advent is a season of hope. Awaiting for Jesus, the Prince of Peace, a mighty Savior, a wonderful worker. My dear brothers and sisters, in the season of Advent, there are symbols associated with it. There are wreath which is placed and with that wreath, there are candles where they are placed. And these candles depict each fruits of the Holy Spirit. And each candle is colored with purple, except on third Sunday of the Advent, which is colored with pink, which symbolizes joy. My dear brothers and sisters, placing of wreath calls us to meditate about the salvation is tree, where in which we are called to see how God came into the human form, stayed with us with the human form, accepts sin and brought a redemption and salvation. And that is what the wreath that is placed reminds us. And all these four candles are lit on consecutive Sundays of the liturgical season of the Advent. And each Sunday when we lit this light, the light dispels the darkness. As Jesus himself says in Gospel of John chapter 8 verses 12, I am the light of the world. When the light is burnt on the first Sunday, and again on the second Sunday of the Advent, third Sunday of the Advent, fourth Sunday of the Advent, the light becomes more graceful. And on the fifth Sunday, where it is called as Christ candle, Jesus, the light of the world, the Prince of Peace, comes to dispel the darkness, the darkness of sin. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. These candles has a unique feature. Some of us know it by its color or the fruit of the Holy Spirit that it depicts. But if you go deeper, this also has a meaning in the Catholic Church why the Church places these candles to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. The first Sunday, we place a purple candle where it signifies the hope. We read it in Psalm 33 verses 20. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. 
So this candle of hope is also called as prophet's candle, reminding us that Jesus is coming and we are called to wait for him. The second candle that we lighted in the second Sunday of the Advent is also purple. And this depicts peace. And this also symbolizes as Bethlehem candle. Why it is called Bethlehem candle? Because it reminds us that Mary and Joseph journeying to Bethlehem. As it is said in Colossians chapter 3 verses 15, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body and be thankful. So we are called to be at peace in receiving this King of Peace, this Prince of Peace. Our minds are wavered. Our minds are shattered with a lot of problems and difficulties. This Sunday of the Sunday of the peace calls us to meditate on the Prince of Peace and wait on to Him. The third Sunday is also called a joyful Sunday of the Advent. Why? Because here it symbolizes shepherd's candle, which reminds the joy of the world experienced at the birth of Jesus. At the birth of Jesus, many people were enjoying the presence of God. They were filled with the joy. When Mother Mary was going and visiting Elizabeth, Elizabeth filled with the joy. When shepherds heard the news of the birth of Jesus, they were filled with joy. When the wise men heard about the coming of the new king, when they wanted to honor him, they were filled with joy, brought the gifts. Likewise, you and I are called to be filled with joy in celebrating the Lord. As it is said in Isaiah chapter 55, verses 12, For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. And the final Sunday, the fourth Sunday of the Advent, is called as the angel's candle. On the Sunday, we place a purple candle where it reminds the message of the angels. Gloria in excelsis Deo, a new King is born, the proclamation of the angels. And here we meditate God's love, the love that came down on this earth and remained amidst us. And that is what Gospel of John chapter 3 verses 16 we read. God so loved the world that he sent his only son. My dear brothers and sisters, in John 13, 34 we read, I give you a new commandment that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. As Christ Jesus came with love, showed us love and came to establish that love language, we are called to meditate that love and celebrate that love with one another. Finally, on the day of the Christmas Eve, we place a white candle in the middle of the wreath. It symbolizes Christ's candle, where it is placed in the center of the wreath, celebrating Christ as the King, Christ as the hope, Christ as the love, Christ as the peace, Christ as the light of this world. My dear brothers and sisters, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, so beautifully it is said, For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, 
authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace this season of advent gives us hope and asks us to believe the words of jesus himself as it is mentioned in revelation chapter 22 verses 20 maran atha surely i am coming soon my dear brothers and sisters let us wait on to the lord as people wait near the bus stop waiting for the bus either they may be having their own gadgets busy with their own scheduled work or busy with chatting not like those people who are waiting for the bus rather let us wait like new couples who are waiting for the child new child to be born let this advent season help us to prepare well to receive jesus the prince of peace and to be born in our hearts let the season be a meaningful season for you may god bless you all praise the lord